What's up everybody, Flying Scorpion here, and this is the second modding tutorial for the channel for Stellaris. I've got my girlfriend Flying Kitty on the line. Flying Kitty, can you say hello? Hello everybody. Thank you. We're going to take you through the process of getting some foundational setup to make modding for Solaris a lot easier. So the last place we left off was inside of your mod folder with your mod descriptor file and a thumbnail. Let's create some shortcuts to make navigating through these files and folders a lot easier. So if you go up to your Stellaris folder, there's your mod folder. You can click and drag and drop your mod folder into your quick access menu. So here's your quick access menu and you've got all these little pin icons next to it. Also take your logs folder and drag and drop the logs folder into the quick access as well. The reason you'll go into the logs folder is to open this file, error.log, and whenever you run your mod, if there are any errors, they will show up here, and this helps you find and fix errors in your mod. So let's go back to the mod folder and go to the very first mod that I taught you how to make. In the descriptor.mod file, we've got a little bit of code that is set up by default for every mod that you create, and you can open this with a few different software programs like Notepad, for example but Notepad is pretty limited in its functionality. We can also open this with Notepad++, which has a little more functionality. Like if I click next to this uh, bracket here, it highlights it in red, and it highlights this corresponding bracket in red as well. But the best I would suggest is using Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code can be Google searched, and you can just find the download for it. Alternatively, you can Google search Notepad++ just like that. I'll give you an example of what that looks like. It looks like this. Uh, Visual Studio Code supports highlighting text in different colors. It links different files together. It can underline errors in your code for you, and it can even pre present to you suggestions on how to fix that. Now, after you've downloaded Visual Studio Code, you need to update it with a plugin to get all of the special functionality for Stellaris modding. And you can get that plugin on the Stellaris modding den. Once you've gone there, you can go to the CW Tools discussion area, and I'll put a link to this in the uh, description below the video. Go to the pinned messages, and there will be tutorials on how to set up your plugin into Visual Studio Code. This plugin was made by Caligula. He works for Paradox Entertainment and supports the modding community, and this community is a great place to go to for help with modding. Okay, so I'll take it over to Flying Kitty. Flying Kitty, can you uh, refresh our audience on, or review our audience on what we've just gone over? Yeah, sure. So first is um, we've talked about like creating um, shortcuts for your folders, mm -hmm. for the mod and logs folders, so you can access it easily. And then um, next is on the tools that you can use to open your descriptor file. First is you can use the notepad, um, you can use Notepad++, and the best thing to use, I think, is the Visual Studio Code because Notepad has limited functionality. Yes. And um, you can just Google the Visual Studio Code, and once you downloaded it, there's a special plugin, so that you can um, use the special functionality of it. You can access it through Discord. Um, there's a Stellaris modding den. You can go to CW Tools discussion. You can look at through the um, pinned messages, and you can find there the the code for that for the update. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Thank you, Flying Kitty, and thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thanks for the subscribers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And again, I'm Flying Scorpion, and that's Flying Kitty, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.